Okay, so I think that we are all wage slaves building this giant complex pyramid called society and nobody really knows why we're doing it. It's one of those paradoxes of life. I honestly don't even know why I'm getting up every morning to get to work. I really don't. And also I think that the way that we look at slaves that build the pyramids in Egypt is the same way that people will look at us thousands of years from now. Okay, so I don't want to sound pessimistic. That is not my goal. My intention here is to entertain you with my story and my perspective in a journey towards mental clarity and intentional living. So take this with a grain of salt. After all, you're listening to just some guy on the internet, okay? I think that the main reason why everybody gets up in the morning to go to work is that it's what all generations have done before us. And so we do as our parents did and taught us to do, and we will tell our kids to do the exact same thing. We used to be farmers and work for ourselves, but when the concept of money was invented, people worked for money instead of themselves. And today we have what is known as wage slavery. We are dependent on that wage. We cannot live or function without it. Working for money seems to be really convenient, but we must not forget that we are also trading something far more valuable for it and that is time. Time is the one thing we cannot get more of, no matter how much money we have. Now, some of you might be saying that we work for food and survival, and basically that we've built this society, this structure, where we help each other to do just that, survive. And for most part, I would agree. And I like the idea of us people living in a society where we don't have to worry about food or shelter. But it seems to be that, practically speaking, we are working to entertain some kind of consumer lifestyle. A lifestyle we were fed by companies, thinking, we need certain things to have a fulfilling life and we seem to spend more than ever but we still make the same amount of money making ourselves more and more dependent of our paychecks we build our lives around a work that fuels our lifestyle and we get more and more sucked into it we fight to get more responsibility more money just to impress others and we spend more and more on fancy things that we don't really need getting more and more entangled in this work oriented lifestyle in a lot of cases people start to care about their workplaces we don't even realize that we care about a lifeless company that only cares about making money and this is why we are wage slaves and what's even worse we accept a life of owning money we buy houses cars trips on credit becoming more and more dependent of our jobs we create a reality where we are told what to do and we cannot afford to say no because if we say no they will fire and replace us and most of the time, whether we like to admit it or not, we buy things that we do not need to impress people we do not like, working jobs that we hate. And we say we need these things, but really, mostly it's just excuses we tell ourselves. Because what else are we going to do with all that money? I believe we do it to fill a void. And it is this void that I want to talk about in this video. I think we lack purpose. And I don't care if you're a Buddhist, Muslim, Catholic or atheist. Nobody can say with a full certainty what the point of it all is. I think we are born with this flaw. Consciousness. We think and observe the world around us in a way that most creatures don't. For a cat, it's simple. When a cat is tired, it sleeps. When it is hungry, it finds food. But people, we are different. We question and complicate everything. Most people would say that humans are more intelligent than animals, but I don't think it's quite that simple. It's not all intelligence, the ability to solve problems. It's mostly this unique 
self-awareness thing. We think, therefore we exist. But the truth is, we are no more real than cats and all other living creatures. The ability to be self-aware does not make us special. It actually cripples us. But um, I'm getting off track here. I'm sorry that happens sometimes. My mind wanders. Let's get back on track here. What I want to focus on is the fact that we work a lot. 40 hours per week, all year, most of our lives and we don't do it to survive. Because if survival was the main goal, most of us could work a lot less. But we don't, because there is this idea that adults have full-time jobs. We make these other excuses to work. We like to pretend we do things for the greater good. We improve upon society. We make the world better. But at the same time, we argue that we overconsume and ruin the planet. And also, I keep asking myself, what is the purpose of this society? Sure, there must have been a point, maybe early on, when we built and improved things to make the whole tribe survive. We built the wheel, we learned how to make fire, but then our problem-solving abilities just went beyond motivation we started to build shopping malls. You know, and today we walk around with these things, these technical gadgets where we take selfies and emojis and send them to each other. Now, some would argue that it is the rich who control the world and make the poor work for them. Just like the pharaohs made slaves build pyramids. But I think that the pharaohs and the rich are just as blind to the truth as the rest of us. The rich just have a bigger sandbox to play in. But it's the same game, the same goal, making a pointless existence less pointless. But why do we work so much? Most people don't even like working, and yet we do it. I think it's because of this myth about money and how money can make your life more fulfilling. But we slowly learn that it doesn't. And so, some of us try to get out of the rat race. But getting out of the rat race, it won't really save us. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge believer in frugal living and creating multiple passive income streams so you can work less. But say I win the lottery today and get free from the rat race forever, I'm still gonna be trapped by something beyond my understanding. Something that controls me subconsciously. And remember that void I talked about earlier? We still have this problem with overcoming the paradox of existence. The truth that everybody is hiding from. Every last one of us is avoiding the big elephant in the room that we simply don't know what the point is. Life is a paradox. And no matter what anybody says, nobody knows anything. Everybody makes up their own idea of purpose, but it's synthetic and it usually makes no sense. It's about getting the latest iPhone. It's about getting a dream vacation. It's about having kids. Lies we tell ourselves to go to work to get a better salary, to make more, to get closer of having a purpose. But once we reach our goal, we just go after the next one. And in lies the irony. Whether we are 12 or 80, we are never closer to any purpose. See, I'm convinced that the solution is less and not more. And that's why I personally am into minimalism. But that's not what this video is about today. I just happen to think that we strive to get more stuff and more experiences that will enrich our lives. But we never quite fill that void. And so, I think the answer is to find joy in our everyday lives. Really enjoying and appreciating the cup of coffee we make and drink. Enjoying the train ride to work. From the day that we are born to the day that we die, we seem to always be on this journey to improve ourselves. You know, it's finish school, get a good job, get a car, get a family. 
But the problem with goal-oriented life seems to be that if we only see the goals, we can't appreciate the journey. And it is the journey that should be the goal. And it's very important that you understand me here. I'm not telling you to find your dream job or dream lifestyle, because that is just another pipe fill. The problem with people chasing dreams is this whole gore-oriented thing again. If you chase something your entire life and you finally find it, guess what's gonna happen after that? That's right, you're just gonna go after another thing and another thing. Clearly, goals don't work. Look, I don't know what the point of all of this is. I certainly don't know what happens after life, but I do know that we have this life. That's probably the only thing that I'm certain of. We have this one moment, this one chance to live our lives to the fullest. And so the most important thing in the world should be to enjoy it, especially all those things we take for granted. A blooming spring, sunrises, coffee, love, dancing, sorrow, and joy. All the experiences that everyday life offers us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, remember what I said before, don't take this video too seriously. After all, life is a paradox and nobody knows what the point of it all is.